What's going on, everybody? Hey, 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 Miss Judy. Hey, Lauren. Gotcha. What's up, Jay Walk? What's going on? I'm on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Syndication all at one time. I hope everybody's well. Please forgive me. I've been a little bit absent. I've been traveling with work. And uh, in fact, I've been traveling so much. I've been in... Uh, let me turn this radio down. Sorry, excuse me one second. Listen to Amy Winehouse, one of my favorite artists. I wish she never died. Um, but I've been traveling. I've been to New York, California, back to New York, D.C., Virginia, North Carolina, all in about 10 days. I stayed in about seven different hotels over those 10 days. And I never get sick, but guess what? I got sick. And um, I've been down for the last couple of days. I've been in... Uh, excuse me. <coughs> I've been in the bed, so I um, haven't been doing much on the internet. And let's turn Amy Winehouse off. I love Amy, but she got Amy. You got to go, baby. Uh, so I have. Uh, I've been bad. I haven't been sick in years. I think when COVID came out, before it came out, November nineteen, I was in Hawaii, and um, and I contracted. I guess it was COVID because I've never been sick like that before. I came home and told everybody I had the new flu. <coughs> I was down for about 45 days. Um, and that's a long time. You know, I just couldn't shake it, continue coughing, sweats, and all that good stuff. But here I am. Here I am right now. Um, I'm going to get this, this thing right because I'm halfway in one of these screens. Let's see if I can move it over some. Um, that way, this way. Okay, one of the ways. Nonetheless, um, I don't know what the hell is going on. All right. Uh, nonetheless, I got three screens going on here, so it's a little bit wild. I'm on YouTube. Uh, YouTube. TikTok. What's up, TikTok? I rarely go live on TikTok, but it's something that I'm going to start doing. Um, on TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. And so for the people who normally follow me, this is kind of like a surprise jump on. I'm sweating and whatnot. Um, a surprise jump on. And what I wanted to talk about today is anything. Today doesn't have a topic because I definitely don't feel like talking, so I won't be on long. But um, um, the Executive Protection School. Yes, this is the hottest Executive Protection School in the country, and I'm doing something for our people. But the industry as a whole, I'm teaching you how to... Um, start your business, how to get into the business, how to brand yourself, how to connect with other people for resources, uh, job opportunities. Um, <clears throat> thanks, French man. Can't wait to see you, bro. Thanks for buying that badge. It looks like you bought a badge. I appreciate it. You always show me support and love. I appreciate it. Um, uh, so I'm teaching people how to brand themselves, get entrenched through the business, get jobs. And if you're already in the business, you're bouncing at clubs and every now and then, a celebrity come through and you get an opportunity to walk with their security team from the car to the VIP and from the VIP to the bathroom and back to the car and you post that on your Instagram or your social media and you tell people that you're um, your bodyguard. I listen, you gotta sometimes you gotta fake it till you make it, but you don't have to fake it at all because there is uh, plenty of opportunity. So when I talk about this profession and people ask me how to get into it and how to grow, I always tell them it's opportunity, but there's not enough uh, qualified people. And working at a club, um, uh, working with a couple of celebrities a couple of times because somebody flew you in, as they say, is that a flew you in on that detail? Um, that doesn't that doesn't qualify you to work in the executive protection field. And one of the biggest myths that I get a lot of times, people will send me like uh, like, hey, uh, can I can I work with you or whatever? You know, I've I've done security for this person, and then one of the first things they say is that. Um, I'm six foot six, two hundred and thirty pounds or whatever, whatever, and I laugh because I got some guys that's about five seven will beat the shit out of, of, of these. Some of these guys are saying they're six foot six and all of this good stuff. So size doesn't matter. Size is intimidating, but uh, you don't have to be a big person to do this job. You don't have to be a police officer to do this job. And you don't have to be a military person to do this job. You just have to be a person with some common sense. And um, willing to, as some common sense and work ethic, and willing to invest in yourself. 
um, by taking classes, going to seminars, meeting people. Because at these classes and seminars, everybody comes to see me at my classes and everybody comes to see me at my seminars. But guess what? I'm not the highlight of my classes and my seminars. Oftentimes, there are corporate executives or corporations that send their security agents into my classes to be trained by me. Those people are in those classes, and those are the people that you can network. Those are the people that you network with. Um, not only uh, th those corporate security agents, but they're also, um, they are also security company owners in these classes and other guys who are already doing this job but realize, okay, listen, I'm at a level... I'm at this level right here, but I want to get here. So how do I get from point A to point B? And so they have, um, so so they come to the classes and they sit in there. And I think we talked about it. And Kevin G, I hope if he jumps on, I'll bring him in. We talked about this. Um, we talked about this on the last live that we did. It's not. It's not about. It's about cross networking. It's about cross networking with other people, and that's how you make it in this business. So today, um, I got, we start, man, I, I swear I don't feel good. I don't know. If I feel like I'm sweating. Um, but today, um, tomorrow, this week, this week, Thursday, July 27th through July 30th, I am coming to Charlotte, North Carolina. We've been promoting this class for quite some time. And we'll be doing our uh, first, oh, our second EP class of the year in Charlotte, North Carolina, down in South, South Park. So I've been promoting it. And I'm, a, I'm just going to be honest with you. And I said this on the last one. People don't want to invest in themselves. Everybody, they want to get the top pay. They want to get they want to get the best clients, but they won't invest in themselves. They just want somebody to give, give them a chance based on what we don't know you. Even if we don't know you, we're doing business. We're not doing friendship. So with that said, I'm not going to fly you in on any detail. But what people, this business is like a bank. Any business, any career, any any profession is like a bank. You only gonna get in, uh, get out what you put in, and people aren't putting nothing in. And so the people who are really excelling, I hope some of them jump on here. Some of my guys who've come to my class, let me tell you, some of the people who have come to my classes uh, have come to my classes. Jermaine Carpenter, if you jump on here, he did a job for me in New York uh, yesterday, but uh, he came to the April class. Um, but before Jermaine even left the class, Jermaine and Tamika Richardson, they were in our class. They were two of the best people. We had a lot of good people in our class, but they were two of the best people in the class. Um, I got a call uh, from, uh, I don't want to say this, but I, I got to say it. It's from, uh, from, from the White House. And uh, they, they needed something like that night. And so I was like, hey, listen, I'm teaching the class. I can't leave. So I pulled the two best people from my class and said, go do this job. And they did that job. Ever since then, um, Jermaine has been working for me. He's been working for what, one of my high profile clients up in New York. And he's doing an outstanding job. Uh, Shelby, Shelby, I thought Shelby, I can't remember your last name. Shelby has got work. Daryl uh, Jones has got work. Uh, it's Tyler uh, Pridgen. Tyler, Tyler Pridgen is out in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. I love that kid. Um, Adrice Ruley uh, from Global Protection, he recommended him to me. Uh, Tyler is coming down. He was a former student in the class, and now Tyler is actually going to be a uh, apprentice instructor. So he's coming to the class. So the <coughs> <coughs> I can go on and on and with names of people who are who have taken have taken this class and have taken this profession seriously. And within the last 12, 12 months, their life has changed. In fact, um, Tyler and all of you guys, you know that we start in Atlanta next week. Tony, if you're watching, we'll be down there. Um, you guys in Atlanta, we, we have a job down there um, with one of our corporate clients. And um, shout out to Gilly. Shout out. Um, um, you have my condolences and all of our, my team's condolences in your loss. Um, I wish we could be at Gilly Fest, but we'll be teaching this, this class. But shout out to Gilly. Shout out to Wallow, and uh, we see you guys in a couple of weeks down in Atlanta. Um, and so, um, man, I'm sorry. Am I sweating? Does it look like I'm sweating? I'm sorry, yeah, I really don't feel good. I, I need to get myself together um, before uh, before this class on Thursday. All right, so with that said, the class on Thursday in Charlotte, we're, we're, um, we're starting. Now, normally, I normally give a couple of free... Um, 
passes to the class, but I've been so busy, I haven't even been able to promote the free classes. So here's something that I'm going to do. If you're watching this and you missed the free class, it's kind of, it's kind of like out the window right now. But if you missed the free class and you still want to come to this, on my website right now, www.trustinmvp.com. If you go to www.trustinmvp.com, I put up there, it's only two slots. Uh, whoever gets it, you get it. It's at a super low discounted price. And listen, again, I don't need the money. I don't need you in my class, but I'm doing this for you guys. So if you get to my website, there's only two spots on there. The first two people get it. You will never get this price for this class again. Never, never, never. And the people who go into this class, they know exactly what I'm talking about. But uh, if you can and you can get to Charlotte, North Carolina, and you can scrape up that money. It's, it's pocket change, really. Um, you spend you spend spend that in the restaurant over the weekend. So if you can scrape up that money, get to my website. That that code will pop up. Put that code in, and I guarantee you, you won't you won't regret it. Um, I'm gonna scroll through here because I don't have a topic. I'm gonna scroll through here, and you guys, if you have any questions on YouTube, YouTube, if you have any questions about the executive protection field, I know that you see. <coughs> I know that you see um, a lot of my, my shorts and my videos that I post. I'm, uh, I'm trying to get more active in that, but again, I've been extremely busy. But YouTube, if you see my shorts and videos, um, this is I'm going to get more active on YouTube. Thank you for following me. Um, and I don't know what I'm saying because I'm sick. All right. Um, but if you have any questions, YouTube, please shout out whatever it is, any questions that you, that you have. Um, put it in the chat and I'll answer it. Okay. If you want, if you have questions on Instagram or if you have questions on TikTok, hey, there go my man. I'm going to bring you on. Um, if you have questions on TikTok, if you have questions on Instagram, please hit the button, request to be add, add it because I cannot read. I don't even have glasses with my glasses on. I need glasses. <coughs> <coughs> but if you have any questions, about anything, security, bodyguard work, security, um, starting a security company. If you own a security company and you got challenges in your security company, you got questions about that, hit the hit the little add button and I'll add you in. I'll answer any question that you want. Um, I built my security company with the ironing board. Listen, I lived, I, I was fresh off out of the police department. I had just retired. I was fresh out of divorce. I got wiped out in child support alimony everything i was living if i wasn't a police officer i would be live i would have been living in my car and so um fortunately i had a, a lady named michelle uh, it was in the projects in in southeast washington dc um she was a property manager and she let me live in a in, a, in an apartment <coughs> simply because i was a police officer and i i could uh, help prevent crime in that community so <coughs> excuse me one second <clears throat> if it wasn't for that, I would have been living in the car. But um, new, uh, freshly retired, I didn't know what I was going to do. Um, so I said, you know, uh, protecting people comes natural to me. So I started a security company, and that's what I did. And so I had an ironing board, and you can scroll through if you guys follow me on Instagram, security uh, underscore czar, C-Z-A-R, security czar. Um, you scroll through my profile, and you'll see that ironing board. That is, I got a lot of pictures, a lot of celebrities, a lot of corporate executives, a lot of corporations that I've done jobs with, a lot of pictures that people are in awe with. But let me tell you, the picture that I am most enamored with, the picture that, uh, that, gives me the greatest joy is, is the picture of myself and that ironing board. Um, and I don't know what made me do it, but something said, take the picture. When I took that picture of the ironing board, ironing board, a laptop I borrowed from my mama with the prop, uh, with the promise that I would make her proud and $250. Um, 18 years later, I'm a multimillionaire. I have no problems. I've traveled all the world, all over the world. Fly on private jets, work with some of the high, uh, highest profile people, uh, n uh, name people that you can ever imagine. Um, but there was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and I had to invest in myself, and I would have never got there if I didn't. So um, if anybody knows how to build a security company from scratch, you're looking at them. Uh, and, and at the time, at the time that I started this in 2004, 
I had no college education. I went through some courses uh, with Penn State. I went through some courses on the police department with DC, uh, District of Columbia University. So I got some credits, but I did not finish college. And I didn't have that many credits. I just got into college into 2019 with a business degree. And my professors, I knew so much. I knew so much about uh, business that my professors were pissed off that I knew more about them, uh, about business than, than them. But nonetheless, I was able to do this and I'm able to teach anybody. I'm talking about anybody. I can teach anybody how to do this. So if you got a security company and you got questions or you work in a security business and you're trying to grow and you're trying to get to another level, hit that DM, hit me up. Um, um, or hit the little ad button right here. I ask questions now. And if you got more specific questions and you need more time, then do this. Jump on to my link tree and my Instagram. Click that calendar button. Uh, click, click the calendar button and book a session. Invest in yourself. It's a bank. All you're going to get out is what you put in. It's a bank. All you're going to get out is what you put in. So, TikTok, thanks for watching. Um, we're talking about security. If you got questions, I don't even know how to work TikTok, and then certainly I know I'm going to need some glasses. Um, but if you got any questions, I don't know if I can add you on TikTok. Um, I don't know if I can add you on here on TikTok or bring you on the screen, but once I figure this out, I will. So Peer Action Plus, <coughs> are we doing um, any classes on the West Coast? Um, would I love to fly out from Hawaii to take a class? Um, I put up our, on, on my Instagram, I put up our classes for next year. This year is going to be kind of tight. Next year might be kind of tight. I have a, uh, a, I have about four or five cities that I'm going to next year. I'm going to be honest with y'all. If, um, if you can get in these classes this year, I highly recommend it. And the reason I'm saying it is because my company, we do a lot with the, um, with the presidential elections and a lot of the governmental elections. So, um, the RNC, the DNC, um, individual candidates. So next year might be a wash for us because the campaigns are going to be ramped up and I'm not sure if I'm even going to be available to do those classes. Um, but uh, to answer your question, Prairie Action Plus, um, yes, uh, we have it. We don't have California on our class right now. I mean, on our um, the West Coast on our um, schedule right now, but I am looking into doing that. All right, and there was a question. I'm also going to learn how to do this, too. All right. Um, all right, so any questions? Let's go. Where, where are we at? Where are you located? Um, I'm in, I'm in uh, the Washington, D.C. area, but I move around. You can find me anywhere. Um, all right, let's see. What else? Can you pin a... All right, y'all, I'm just trying to scroll through these, trying to answer some questions. I'm not normally on TikTok. Sparrow, um, let's go and bring you in, man. Always bring Sparrow in. Anybody else want to come in? Anybody else got questions? Let me know. We're going to rock out. All right. How do I become a protective security to the VIPs? All right. Um... To become a protective security for VIPs, first and foremost, you are going to have to invest in yourself. That's what I, that's kind of how I started this conversation. I'm on, and right now I'm on, I'm talking to them on YouTube, uh, Sparrow, but I got a, a comment on there. They asked how, how um, can they get to protect VIPs? Before you protect VIPs, I'm going to be honest with you, you got to protect a whole lot of non-VIPs. Um, everybody wants to jump in and they want, they want to become like, you know, protect the president of the United States, but that, 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 it doesn't work like that before, <coughs> before I protected anybody of value, I was at the local clubs and that's why I don't knock really the guys who work at the local, at the local clubs, right? Because that's where I started at, man. The local radio station DJs, I was following them around. Um, I, I was doing low profile guys, the local talent, the bands, I was doing all of that good stuff before I really, really took off and, and, and to the executive protection business. Um, uh, so I would say, number one, try to get you some local celebrities. Um, if you're already working in the bouncing in the club and stuff like that, you might be able to pass out your card, um, network with other people, and sometimes that work. Other than that, I would say jump into a class. Jump into a class. And I always like to say, 
Um, I, I don't know how to promote my class. My, my class promotes itself. Um, but I would highly recommend coming to the MVP School of Executive Protection. But I, I, I. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Sparrow. But I would also <laughs> say any class that you go to, any any uh, just just do your homework on a class. Make sure that the, it's a reputable company. Um, they actually do what they say they could do, and uh, and, and and then they can help you out in the, uh, in the future. Hold on one yeah, second. To, to, totally agree with that, Mr. Key. Um, and I will say again, I said this live at the live at the live at the class. Um, only because Mr. Key provides a roadmap after the class. He he gives you free game here on lives and now on TikTok and YouTube and things like that. But he's not only telling you about when the class is. He's telling you what to expect and what to expect after you get your certificate. See, uh, I haven't been through a whole bunch of classes like some people have, you know, and again, I'm not knocking those folks anything like that. If you want to go through EP class, have the EP class uh, to each his own or her own, but um, he actually provides you a roadmap of how to get to from point B to point C and, and, and further down the road. Um, you know, when I was younger, I loved maps, right? I loved navigation. So I used to collect road atlases, Ram McNally road atlases, for those who remember that, showing my age. But, you know, I used to enjoy figuring out how to get from one point to another. So I married that to how executive protection is. And from what I've learned from Mr. Key um, over the last year or two on the, just getting out there. And we've been saying it's the theme all night, investing in yourself and getting out there and, and uh, not being afraid to launch out into the deep mm -hmm. and, um, and just, just getting out there. And, and you never know who, who or what you're going to, uh, who you're going to meet. Mm -hmm. And um, from what I've learned over the last year and some change that the world of executive protection, it's a small community. You know, mm -hmm. we travel mm -hmm. worldwide, but it's a mm -hmm. small community. So mm -hmm. um, just be careful how you go about, you know, minding, you know, yourself when it comes to doing details and things like that, because you never know. Uh, it could work for you and it could work against you. So, um, and, uh, so it'd be a, but yeah, investing in yourself is important and, you know, jumping on lives and taking free classes and things like that. You know, there, there are some classes out there like crowd management that you can learn, especially for the folks who do bouncing, work in clubs or, you know, larger venues and arenas and things like that, that can, um, that can help you out there to be beneficial as well. Yeah. My Sparrow, I, I totally agree with that, man. Um, and then, um, and you're right. You might learn something from from it, something different in every executive protection class. Um, and and then I, again, I don't know. I don't search everybody else's curriculum. I don't know what they teach. But I'm telling you, um, at, at MVP, we teach the fundamental foundations. You can go if you're working rather if you're working with a, a celebrity or a politician or corporate executive. It's going to go across the board. There are some nuances in the celebrity protection. Um, and for those who, who do that work, you know, hats off to you, but that is, <coughs> that, that is, that's a, that's a tough, that's a tough, tough, uh, job to follow. And, um, one, one reason, and I've done that, I've done that. And I've been in the trenches with celebrity work. One, it's long hours. So I think people are looking for the glitz, glam and glory, um, and that. And so a lot, that's why a lot of people want to be, um, want celebrity clients but let me just be honest with you um oftentimes if you're dealing with rappers it's very dangerous um oft oftentimes people will treat you very rude um and you won't get paid a whole lot of money so the average person working with a, uh with a rapper is especially if you're at the low tier somewhere between 250 uh, 250 dollars to 300 dollars a day and that day might go 18 18 hours so you can just do the math to see how much you're getting paid to protect a millionaire or a multi-millionaire and and also not to have the same respect well when we're working with uh, corp corporate clients uh, oftentimes they are flying you out um they're, they're paying for your meals they're giving you a per diem um as well right um they're paying for your hotels they treat you almost like family you know uh, all you got to do is show up and be professional and do your job some of the horror stories that i'm hearing um, out here for some of the rappers is crazy. I was talking to one of our, our, our alum, and I think I'm just going to take that term too and add it to the MVP alum. Um, but one of our alum students who went, uh, who worked with a, uh, with the client and the guy got shot in the head in the club in Miami while he was in that client, with, while he was with that client. So wow. y'all probably can wow. Google without me dropping a name. Um, 
Matter of fact, I think it's 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 public news. Uh, he was he was with uh, Meek Mill, and uh, they were in a club, and the shooting happened. And the the, uh, the agent that went through our class said he was standing right beside the guy that got shot. Mm. Right. So we're talking about when we're talking about. Um, so we're talking about there's a difference and there's some nuances and there's some skill levels and some balls that you have to really have uh, to to work in the celebrity protection side. So if that's what you want to do, um, then I would say do that. But it's for me, it's it, I wouldn't say it's not about the money, but when it, it is about the money when I'm working in um, uh, when I'm doing doing my job for corporate and high level clients um, because I know they're going to pay me and they're going to take care of me, but Honestly, for the money, I sometimes I feel guilty uh, because I ain't really doing nothing, right? The 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 hard work and executive protection work is done before you show up. It, before you show up. Yeah, it's like the football game. It's like the basketball game. We didn't practice all week. We didn't do the research. We planned. We we got a lot. When we walk in the door, it's like magic, and the clients be so impressed by it. But they don't know. Yeah, you know, we didn't done, done this. We, you know, what I'm saying a, a million times, but addition. But we, yeah, we've been working on the planet part of it long before we showed up. It's like an iceberg, right? You think about an iceberg, how just the tip or maybe a small percentage of it shows on the surface, but underneath this, like, you know, the advance work, uh, finding out who can work this, who can do this, you know, last minute cancellations, and, you know, things of that nature, uh, logistics and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, you're right, sir. A lot of, a lot of that plays into effect. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, someone asked a question about is the uh, who is this uh, hey, Kenzie Tatum? Let me bring. How do you bring? I'm gonna bring you on on as moderator. How do you bring somebody on as a moderator? You can do that, right? I don't know. All right, hold on a second. All right, go ahead. You got. You got it. If you if you can see the questions, go ahead and answer. Mm -hmm. That gives me time to interact with on the other platform. So um so Kenzie Tatum uh, asked uh, is a class a multi day class? Yes. So it's going to be over a course of four days. So. Uh, typically, uh, Mr. Key has his classes between Thursdays and second Sundays. Um, of course, uh, in, in, in the email that he sent to the, uh, the class that's going to be coming on this week, he says, uh, you know, don't worry about, I'm paraphrasing what he said, essentially you don't think it's going to be an eight-hour class um, uh, because there's going to be a wealth of information that you're going to receive on day one. Mm -hmm. So whatever right retention you got, you know, make sure your phone nice and charged because you're going to be taking a lot of screenshots and things like that. Um, me, I'm old school. I write stuff down. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so that, that's one of those things where you're going to learn a lot within that first day. And, and, and the way Mr. Key works is, and, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, sir, uh, that, you know, you he's not sizing you up per se, but he's just seeing exactly how serious, how passionate you are, uh, based on your, your, what time you show up, um, you know, how, how you dress, how you answer certain questions, you know, uh, your active listening skills and things like that. So um, all that comes into play. So, uh, so yeah, it's over a course of four days. And, and be prepared, as as he said, uh, be uh, taking a lot of screenshots. There was once upon a time <coughs> where I allow I allow screenshots um, of of uh, of the foot. I mean, of the, the PowerPoint. But what that is is just being lazy. Uh, let's just keep it 100. I mean, it's convenient. The technology um, helps out a lot. But I've been to classes and I've taken screenshots, right? Well, let me be honest with you. I've never gone back to look at any of those those screenshots. Maybe some of you uh, do. But there's a, um, a, a process of, of learning. When you hear it, you write it down, you know, and then, you, you know, you read it, reread it again, and then you understand it. But if most people aren't going to write it down, you know, and... The executive protection business is all about being detail oriented. Oriented, um, as you know, you you are a hell of a person who does um, advanced work, uh, Sparrow. So That's all right. of the research, you taking notes, taking notes. So if you're going to be in this field, you might as well go ahead and get into the habit of taking notes now. Thanks, French. Love you, man. All right, was we got any more questions? Come on on screen. Uh, let's see. Uh, someone uh, mentioned play play bow. Uh, small church security here. Same thing. I do church security, uh, mostly first aid cases with seniors and uh, kids at the gym. So about me, I'm a safety director at a church here in North Carolina. So uh, we have three campuses across the state. So we have uh, our main campus in Greensboro. Our uh, we have a campus in the Raleigh Durham area and another one in the Charlotte Metro area. So. 
Um, and I have a team of about 25 to 30 uh, safety, I call them safety volunteers, because um, we have a security company that works with us during the week, so I'll keep that name separate. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so um, any given Sunday, right, that something can't happen at any given time. So, um, so yeah, what I like to do is uh, I like to pinpoint certain areas uh, during worship experience where I'm thinking, okay, something could happen, whether it's the arrival of my pastor and his family, during offering, during praise and worship, all that good stuff. So I'm making sure I'm paying attention to uh, my environment that's around me. But the most important thing is when it comes to church security is making sure uh, leadership of the church buys into what you're doing, all right? This isn't church of 1997 or 2018 or even 2020, right? Because a lot of times uh, places of worship are seen as soft targets, as we all know. Um, and, uh, and it's up to us, those who are protectors in our places to worship, uh, just to make sure that, you know, we're being proactive <laughs> with the same due diligence by making sure that, um, that, you know, we're uh, at work uh, sharing with different ministries and staff. And, you know, if, if you don't have law enforcement coming to work alongside with you at church, you know, maybe that's something you may want to um, also consider and stuff like that. So, and just a little, the, the, the soft skills. Uh, customer service, hospitality, uh, knowing how to write an incident report, and things like that. Knowing how to document certain things is important when it comes to uh, to church security. So I, I thought that was a really good one. I'm gonna go to YouTube real quick, Angelo. Um, thanks for joining on the YouTube live. Um, yes. Um, thank you for your service in the military, and there are opportunities. Um, not as many as in Washington State, but San Diego for sure. What what I would what I would recommend for you is to find a good company. I think um, on on the West Coast, the company that's doing that is Ally Barton. It used to be AS Solutions before they got in trouble um, with the gun scandal uh, with Facebook. Uh, they was uh, the owner was uh, was buying gun permits from the sheriff, so it was a big uh, fiasco out there, and um, and uh, they had to shut the company down. And so I think Ally. Was well, Allied Universal now has uh, had bought AS Solutions out, so I would recommend um, if you're going to be on the West Coast, try to uh, try to apply with Allied uh, Universal, but also make sure that you get in an executive protection class. And if uh, if you want the best, I would just say coming over to MVP, and I um, and we'll train you to make sure that you're straight so that you can get that job. All right. Um, any other questions on on, on Instagram? Uh, hey, Shauna. I don't see anything on. I don't see anything on live here. Um, what else? What's up, Wilson? Uh, what's up? Uh, what's up, Wilton? I'm sorry. All right. So nothing on. Um, understood. Okay. Cool. My we'll do my. Oh man, somebody said that boss spoke highly of me. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Tell your boss whoever it is. I said, oh, Angelo, who was your boss? Oh no. Whoever your boss is, tell them I, I appreciate the um, vote of confidence. And I will say one more thing, Mr. Key. Um, when you come to an executive protection class, uh, um, make sure you have an open mind to uh, things that you may thought you have known when it comes to working at a club or a hotel or church, what have you, uh, doing security. You're going to be surprised. You're going to have a lot of aha moments uh, when it comes to training. And so have that open mind and think, you know, just, and just, I mean, for me, you know, I've been doing some form of safety and security for almost 25 years. But when I came to Mr. Key's class last August, um, you know, it was a it was a breath of fresh air, to be honest with you. You know, because I learned new stuff, you know, and things that I thought I knew about security, about how to protect my pastor and stuff like that. I mean, you know, I learned something new and I, I adapted that, uh, you know, in the days after um, in my class. I still do. So um just come with an open mind and, and and be able to ask a lot of questions too you know um there's no such thing as a dumb answer or a dumb question i don't think it is um but with that being said just make sure uh you, you come you know with an open mind i would say and uh you know and be able to learn a lot because the people that you're in your class with you may work with them one day on a multi-day detail or something like that so you just never know again executive protection is a, is a small community in the big world i would say all right. Yep, I agree. Um, so somebody asked, do I do online classes? I, I don't do online classes. I know you're out of the country. I believe this. I thought I saw Nigeria. I, I could be wrong. Um, I don't do online classes. We are planning on coming to Lagos, Nigeria next year. I'm not sure um, what what the dates are. We're still working on that. But 
Um, online classes, a lot of what we teach, right? A lot of what we teach is really classroom work. So when you see these videos of people running around, shooting, jumping around the cars and all that good stuff, that, that's not really how it works out. 99% of the, I'll, 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 link, I'll digress. I'll, like, I'll say 97% of the EP contracts in the United States are unarmed security contracts. Um, if the client requests uh, more, oh, you in it? You in it? Oh, oh, okay. This guy's. I'm like, okay. My apologies. I thought I don't know why I thought not Nigeria. Okay, yeah. So we don't. So uh, a big portion of the class is online. So you're learning. You're in a classroom. It's lecture style. So you're learning, and then um, you know on the on the later days we go go out and apply. So there is a a way that we could have hybrid classes that people can learn online. And then we can kind of shorten the physical classes or you can, they can learn that part online and then come to the actual physical class for those last couple of days. Um, so that's something that we are working on. And also somebody asked on, on TikTok, what are my thoughts on Triple Canopy overseas contacts? Triple Canopy, um, I, 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 would, I, just, I, don't, I really don't have any uh, thoughts on, on them, on, on Triple Canopy. Uh, I think it's good. Um, it's a good company. Now, when you're talking about uh, all of that high-profile training, uh, that stuff, then you, you that's that's where people are going to sign up for a triple canopy, for jobs with triple canopy, and you will be going overseas to do that work. All right? Um, and you will have a rifle. You might have some other stuff, too. But, you know, it's high-profile. It's high-profile. Well, might maybe high, low, low profile, but high-risk. Um, so if you if you're interested in uh, triple canopy, I would say by all means go over there. Um, it's a good company, far as I know. Um, all right, let me see. I'm uh, just kind of going through some some comments. I don't know everybody's everybody's scared to jump on 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 live. I'm gonna bring you on live, and I got um, V Executive Security. He wants to get back on. I can't bring I can't bring on the same guest every week. I got my staple core people. <laughs> Uh, I, wanna, uh, I will bring you on at some point if people don't come on and I, um, and let you talk because what V Executive Security, let me just tell you, the guy's out of sight awesome. Uh, he has a, yeah. a bunch of information and I'm going to bring him on a lot of segments on my lives. And so if you're interested in this business, um, this is somebody that you want to hear from. I'm also, uh, Tucker, what you guys didn't get um, when you guys came through the class in the first couple, couple of classes last year, was TSCM? We talked about it. That's technical security countermeasures, right? Um, yes, yeah, we 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 talked about it a little bit, um, but we actually have a specialist that comes in. And I'm talking about this dude is off the chain, um, nice. and so he his portion of the class, and you guys really get a kick out of this. Um, his portion of the class is uh, talking about all of the stuff, um, all of the stuff to protect information, right? Mm -hmm. Um, bugs, spyware, <laughs> listening devices. He talks about cybersecurity and all of that good stuff. So my guy V Security talks about the cybersecurity portion of it, and then Steve uh, with TechX. He he talks about from a broad scale. And Steve will actually be with us in October um, in California, which I really wish he was dead, man. I re but <laughs> you becoming like me, you only one person. Now, if I could clone you, I would. Right, but uh, yes, Steve from TechX is coming, and he's going to be talking about uh, TSCM and how it works in the executive protection industry. Okay, all right, awesome. Looking forward to that. Um, so let's see, who else we got? Any questions? Any questions? Let's scroll through. Any questions? Yeah, I have some questions. Now. Come on, come on, come on. Close mouths don't get fed, y'all. Yes. October in California. No, October in California is uh Shana is a is a security detail that we already have. I I will post it because it's um yeah, it's it's probably the hottest thing on on in California, anywhere in California in October. So I can't I can't really talk about that, but I will be there. We will be there for about um I think it's ten days or so, something like that. Ten days and then we'll be out. Um uh, but we definitely will connect with you when we're out there. And I didn't even know you were on TikTok. All right, I got some more YouTube questions. Let's see if I can answer guys' question. Oh, are you in New Jersey? 
All right, hey, listen, I'm in New Jersey all the time. I'm New York, New Jersey all the time, at least twice a week now. So um, let's let's connect. Um, if you're still on here, just shoot me a, uh, shoot me a message. I'll be back in New York August first, and that's the crazy part, uh, Sparrow Man. We we finish. I, I, this is why I'm sick. I'm, I can guarantee you this. I am sick because I've been just going and going and going and going without no sleep. Oh, yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah, I slept. I slept last night. All I mean, yesterday, all yesterday, I didn't get out of bed. I didn't even go to the second floor of my house. Um, I slept all yesterday, and uh, but again, if I didn't do that, it was here. Come home, shoot down to Charlotte to teach the class, go back up to New York. Um, uh, uh, August first to do the job, and then I got a job August third in New York. I got a job, job August eighth in New York, but also we got to be in. I didn't even. I didn't even talk to you about that. We got to be. Maybe, maybe I will. I see what your availability is. Availability is. We got a job. Um, August 9th through fourteenth in DC, and then we we go to Atlanta. So uh, for for the YouTube thing, um, and then it's just like that. And then I go right back out to California for that to get more preparation for that detail. So I mean, this this job it it could, it could pay you well. You could travel. You could see the world. You you can meet a lot of people. You can make a lot of money. But again, I don't get here. I I don't sit here on this side of the t or the, or the the telephone talking to you guys. If I didn't invest in myself, that's just the long and short of it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yep. Um. All right. I got twenty five people on here. Come on, man. I know some of y'all got some questions. Y'all y'all sit well, here. What you got? Let's 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 hear something. That's the craziest thing, man. Is we we sit here all the time, and you got people just. Talking and you got some of the and I'm not saying I'm not tooting my own horn. I'm not bragging on it. You got some of the greatest people in the world to come on these screens and give y'all information for free. Y'all won't eat, ask ask freaking questions. I am not gonna sit here and just talk until I'm blue in the face. Ask some questions. You own a company. You want to see your company go from a couple of hundred a uh, couple of thousand or hundred thousand dollars to a couple of million dollars. Ask some questions. If you got if you working at the bar, you want to get from you want to stop. You know, patting people down at the door, you know, and you want to be, you know, walking with celebrities and politicians. I had some questions without me cursing, <laughs> right? Um, yeah. Here is where you build the foundation with people who have been doing it for a long time. Um, again, there's, there, there's many people out there. I'm sure people going to go behind my back and go to other people's face like, oh, you know, he was talking about this person. Like, no, that's not what I do. Um, but I know th this is an opportunity for for foundations to be built by you know get connected with people like Mr. Key and you know the others that are on this live right here that um that are connected. So um, yeah, just get out there and start asking questions. That's the only way you're going to find out one how to how to grow not only your business but just uh, you know experience within the industry. I mean, like I'm doing, I'm still a sponge. You can go to any kitchen in America, grab a sponge, wet it. That's me because I'm continuously learning. From Mr. Key, I'm learning from the people that he's connected with, and I've been thankful to be connected to some people that he knows, you know, um, over the course of the last 12, 13, 14 months or so. Um, but it's all about gaining that rapport. And the first step is building your foundation, one, and asking those questions. You know, just, I mean, something that's been burning from two, three lives ago, you didn't want to ask the question, but, you know, now's your opportunity. You know, tomorrow ain't promise, so to speak. So, now then, type some questions in or what have you. So, you know, we can, uh, you know, not, well, we, yeah, okay, we can, uh, we can try to figure this thing out. So, uh, we, we learn together and grow together, so. Yeah. Hey, Sean, if you on, if you on, um, I see you on TikTok, jump on Instagram, but her question was, hey, my dog, he just busted in my room like, like he belong here. What's up, old man? Um, so her, her, her question was, what social media sites generates, generates the best leads, if any? Your own website generates the best leads but before your web your own website it would be google so you have to and say i'm giving out i'm really giving out game and i'm gonna since ain't nobody answer question i'm gonna cut this off i ain't gonna answer this question um but uh it's google most uh, if, if you go to let's just say sparrow where are one of the places you desire to go to like you travel to uh you know the, the middle east dubai places like that you know, okay. somewhere like that you know, okay if you landed in if you landed in Dubai and you wanted the best steak in Dubai, what do you do? 
Oh, I'm going to hit Google. And what you going to put in? I'm going to put in best restaurants, best places to shop, you know, things like that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do my advance work before I even get my ticket, you know, <laughs> and I'm going to I'm gonna look up the information. So when I get there, mm -hmm. the bag is clean, take my Uber to my hotel, and then, all right, I already have five, six places I want to go to. That's it. Google. That's it. So, Shauna, I'm not sure if y'all can hear the crosstalk from, from platform to platform, <clears throat> but I'm on with um, Brian Tucker of Sparrow Safety Consultant down in Greensboro, Georgia. Um, if y'all are not following Brian Tucker, um, please follow him, Sparrow Safety Consultant. He teaches firearm, concealed carry, and a whole lot of other stuff. He's an astron uh, astronomical uh, security protector, pro uh, provider and protector, and he also is the lead head security for his church, so he has a plethora of information that he's willing to share with you. All right, um, getting SEO and Google reviews and star ratings are key. You're absolutely right. Okay. Um, and I got another question on, on, and I think I see, hey, Aunt, uh, Aunt Tess Maselli, what's going on, man? Um, he, he came through our class years and years ago. Gotcha. All right. So I got some more questions on YouTube. Um, peer action says have zero back. Background in military or law enforcement. Oh, wait, it disappeared. I really need to. This is my first time doing YouTube Live, so I really need to learn how to use this. It disappears. I have zero background in military or law enforcement, but I want to take one of your classes. Um, uh, yeah, uh, he, I'm about to curse. I was like, hell yeah, I take I take on newbies. He asked, do I take on newbies? Hell yeah, we take on newbies, man. Listen, um, I... I, sometimes I don't feel like I'm running a security company. I feel like I'm really ru ru running a mentoring and coaching company, right? So I just kind of grab people. Well, I kind of am grab people, especially newbies, because they don't come with a whole lot of issues. And like Sparrow, you teach uh, gun stuff, right? If somebody has shot a gun but never went to a formal training, don't you have problems correcting this, uh, the stuff that they they learned along the way? Is, exactly, yeah. So um, so I do firearms familiarization classes, one-on-one -on -one classes as well. So, you know, if you've purchased a firearm, let's say during the pandemic where everybody was purchasing firearms and it was, you know, you had issues getting ammo and toilet paper. It was either ammo or toilet paper that was just running out of the prices were high. So, so yeah, I do that as well. And so um, to answer that, that person's question, um, I typed it in the, uh, in the comment section when I was driving to work um, how three things, you know, Customer service, passion, and heart. When it comes to uh, learning something new, particularly for this for this person who asked that question, mm -hmm. um, you know, you, you don't have to have 25, 30 years of law enforcement experience, anything like that. You just gotta have a willingness and a, a passion to be able to absorb knowledge and to and to learn new things. And then again, you will add stuff to your toolbox, and eventually, uh, it'll be a large toolbox. So you have to get another one. You have to get one of the rolling toolboxes at that point. It all is all about networking. It's all about getting out there and just uh, and rubbing elbows with people who have been doing it for a very long time. Reputable, reputable people. Because there's people out there who just let me just call it what it is. It's like they just get out there for the fame and fortune of it, mm -hmm. right? You know, mm -hmm. I'm just doing this because I'm doing that. You know, and you see them more on the internet and on more on social media than you do a detail or what have you. So, um, so yeah, just uh, customer service attributes. Heart and passion are three of the most, uh, for me, uh, for someone who's green, who don't have any security experience, I would recommend uh, as far as uh, attributes that you need in order to get to the industry. Awesome. And I hope you heard that again. I'm not sure if the crosstalk is being picked up from platform to platform. But, um, yeah, man, we, we, we love to take on newbies. It's easier to train. Um, you know, you haven't really have any bad habits. And, um, you know, as long as you got a passion for the job, you got integrity, you got good character and work ethic. I believe that anybody can go a long way in this field. And so a lot of people, I get this crazy, I get these, qua well, I can't cr say the crazy questions. If people ask questions, they're valid questions. Um, so, but the number one question is, so after we graduate, do we get to work with you? All right, okay. 54% of people who go to college don't get a job in uh, don't get a job in the degree, degree that they went to college for. In fact, 54% of them are unemployed altogether. So just because you take a class in anything, if it's sewing, knitting, baking, whatever, doesn't necessarily mean that you will get a job. And so we we do not promise people that you will get a job. Um, I spoke with a young lady today, and I mean she has a really good heart, very good character. So. Um, I mean, we, we had pretty much the same conversation. It's just she, um, 
I can't remember the exact words that she said. But it's it's the absolute. It's really it's really the person because you know Sparrow, you wouldn't be on here right now if you was, you know, you was clowning in class and showing up late and you know right. if you wasn't polished. Uh, when I when people come to, I just gotta be honest with you, and I can I can see a fake from t ten miles away. Uh, when people come to my class, I'm reading you. I'm I'm smiling. I'm nice, but you don't know I'm reading you, and I'm telling you now. So it's, we got quite a few people coming to the class. Um. We got quite a few people coming to the class in a couple of days. I'm trying to give you a heads up. So even if you try to fake it, you ain't gonna last long. I'm, I, I'll, 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 get, yeah, I'll pull your number before Sunday. <laughs> but the ones that go, man, I mean, and we're building. Look, right, we got a nice little network of, of, of soldiers, right? We got a small yes, army right now that will eat through concrete, right? Um, so, but those people have been built from uh, from these classes. And the other part is, is that we have a system too because I might miss something. There's a chance that I might miss something, but I always uh, d this guy right here, Adrees, Ty. Um, when when the new guys come in, my eyes could be closed. They, they their eyes are still on you, and they're gonna say, "Okay, he did this, he did that, did that." And then so, yeah. and we decide, okay, he can't come back to the detail. He fooled us. He slipped through the cracks, but you know he's past me. But he won't he won't pass the rest of us. So. True. What um okay this one is for you only one look like Lee only one Lee if you are interested in church and corporate security does it benefit you to go to an EP school that is celebrity based absolutely um we have uh, at my church I have you know we have uh, my, my pastor sing for a group called Men of Standard back in the day back in the nineties you know he has a lot of relationships with high level you know gospel artists and things like that so. Um, you just never know, but, um, me, as far as security, I'm focused on, well, because my role is different at my church, of course, I'm responsible for protecting my, uh, my pastor and his family. So I do close uh, protection for them. Um, but you first want to focus on the people. You want to make sure that the people are taken care of and taking it seriously, uh, when it comes to having that worst case scenario mentality, just like when you're working in an EP or when you're working in close protection. You need to be at least two to four steps ahead of the potential threat. And mm -hmm. that means having that worst case scenario mentality. What if my tire gets flat on the way to the on the way to the detail or you know I have a client in the vehicle? What if we run into the traffic? Or what if there's a severe some kind of severe weather or some other kind of phenomenon that takes place? So just thinking outside the box, you know, and being ready to prepare and being prepared to uh to move evasively. But um as far as that, I mean just I would say just make sure that you have, like, for the church that you go to, uh, just making sure that they have, you have their buy-in as far as, you know, them wanting to do church security. Believe it or not, there's a lot of churches out there who who, who scoff at church security, like, why do you need all those people? Why do they need to carry firearms? Why do you need to have police? Like, don't y'all read the news? <laughs> don't y'all don't y'all remember what happened, you know, in Charleston in 2015 where, Dylan Roof came into the church and he attended several Bible study sessions just to plot to see exactly when he was going to execute his mission or or uh, Peyton Gendron up in Buffalo where he drove three hours and 20 minutes from Binghamton up to New York for a three or four months time span and essentially drew every aisle in the grocery store to see exactly where people were, different departments in the grocery store and all that stuff. He befriended the security guard who, worked there, who eventually died from him at that time uh, when it happened. So um, me, I'm all, I'm always going to go through training no matter what. I, 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 I want to make sure I, I, never, I, I tell myself that I've never reached the peak of my success um, because there's always something I can learn. You know, I never think that I've arrived wherever I'm, I'm going to as far as training is, is concerned. So this will obviously be a good platform uh, for you to uh, be able to, you know, get some good training. You know? Yes, the certificate is great. It showed off, but then your body of work will show great, right, at the end of the day. So, um, and, and getting out there and letting people know, hey, look, this is the type of training I've gone through, and, you know, what else you got for me? What's next? And you never know. The sky's the limit for you um, once you uh, complete an executive protection course. Oh, I'm over jet lag. <laughs> Somebody asked me about what was I'm over, I'm over <laughs> jet lag. I'm over jet lag. So, when I was in California, I, uh, I, I did something different this time. I went to bed the same time uh, that I would normally go to bed. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I, I didn't, because I, I knew I was doing so much. I, I was doing so much. I knew, but it's, it, it caught up with me with this cold. But I knew 
um, that I needed to get some rest. So, I mean, it was bright and sunny outside. Everything was going on. I pulled those those curtains and, get, and I just went to sleep. I took a shot of whiskey. That's a good whiskey, too. I went, I went to sleep. Uh, <laughs> um, somebody asked another question. Uh, let's see. You need to have background in military law, law enforcement to take classes. Kenzie, that would be a no. You don't need the uh, background in, in security or law enforcement to take an executive protection class. And, and yep. Uh, my dogs are going crazy. All right, you want you scrolling through too? You see any questions? Uh yeah, I didn't see anything new, new. Um, no, nothing, uh, nothing new from the last last questions. Uh, let's see. Um, I didn't say nobody on his ass. I didn't say nobody on John. I didn't say no. The dog is alive. That's why you gonna lie up in here. Why you gonna lie up in here? Um, my dogs. I don't know what's going on. All right, so um. A realist. Oh, Javon, my man, Javon. I got. I, I think I penciled you in on some security details since since you invested in yourself. And now to Javon, uh, we connected the power of social media. I just want to talk about social media. Um, social media again. It's, I would have never met Sparrow without social media. I would have never met none of these guys I talk about uh, w without social media. So you got to really get in, um, active on these uh, social media platforms. But I saw. Javon, and also being active on social media and the oh, dog's going crazy. Um, um, being active on social media is another thing. So, um, and what you put on social media. So, you know, I, I got people, I got people, they be, they be hitting me up when I scroll through, when I scroll through their page. It's a, it's a no. It's a no. You know, if you smoke weed, then maybe you should be smoking weed and not posting it on your page. You know, right. um, because nobody, you don't take yourself seriously. Nobody's going to take you serious. Well, you you know, um, I mean, not that smoking weed is a problem. I, I don't have a problem with it. But if you're trying to elevate and you're trying to work in a, in, in, in a career, um, that's I just can tell you that's unacceptable in, in this career. And uh, it's going to be frowned upon. And I recommend that if you got... Um, controversial stuff on your page. You got you smoking weed and drugs. If you got a bunch of guns and stuff on your page, um, if I want these dogs to shut up, I don't know what they're barking at. Um, uh, it's just a bunch of stuff. So sometimes I go to people's page. I see one guy say executive protection. Then I saw he had like a. Uh, it said a, a executive protection in his in his profile, but then he was uh, detailing cars. All the pictures was detailing cars. You know what I mean? It's like you got to make sure that your stuff yeah, lines you, up. You, you know what I mean? It got, it got to line up. Cars in the daytime, and at night, or versa, right? So I, I was just a little taken back by that, but nonetheless, um, your if your if your page is professional, I'm going and you know I'm going to reach out. So Javon, his his page was professional. And I needed, I needed to, I was doing a big detail, the same detail I'm going to have you do for me in October uh, mm -hmm. and, and at the convention center. Uh, I was doing a big detail and I needed a, an, another a small company to help me out on the details. We needed a few more positions to fill. So I called and said, hey, he had a good profile. Um, I see you follow me. You're always interacting with my stuff. Uh, I got a detail. Maybe I could bring, I could bring you in on. And um, we didn't end up using it. We filled it with our own people. But nonetheless, we kept that relationship going and you met Javon too you met him at YouTube in DC yeah um yes, uh -huh. so Javon I told him he, he he's like oh he Javon's like man I can't wait to get that call again go <laughs> sign up right Ain't nobody calling nobody just because you know right. you gotta sign up you gotta invest in yourself so he got signed you. up got to if you're hungry and passionate I mean if you are uh, as passionate as you are when you when it comes to shopping or buying clothes, or cars, or parts for your car, stuff like that, and you really want to um, get your foot in the door uh, the right way, um, you got to invest in yourself. And um, and I've said this uh, before, and I'm sure people like Ty and Drees and uh, Latif and all those folks that uh, that you know we really gelled together with. Um, once you pay for that class, I mean, it, it pays for itself. It, it provides dividends in the end. So I've worked several details with Mr. Keith. Um, you know, uh, since I've gone through his class back in August. And as a matter of fact, he entrusted me to work a detail with Google. 
um, last fall in November in DC. So, not working. I trust. Know. Not not working. I entrusted you to run it. Right. Yes, sir. Yeah, you yes, in sir. charge of the whole detail. Yes, sir. Absolutely. So you know, I got past all the rain and all that stuff, and, and, and got the mission done. So, and that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. um, and people were asking me, "Oh, do you have a business card?" I'm like, no, I will give you the keys and information. So if you have any questions about anything, you can reach out to them. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, and, and that's big too. And really quick, want to touch on social media. Um, like I put a post on LinkedIn on when was it? Yesterday or the day before. Over 10,000 impressions or 10,000 views. So just think about that one particular relevant post that you put out there with the right hashtags and everything. Um, you know, it's just the, the, and then the connections I've made since I posted that. You know, I, I, I have, you know, 20, 30 more people following me now on LinkedIn uh, than I did before I posted it on there. So um, keeping the information relevant, fresh, um, you know, uh, just. That, that's been beneficial to me over over time. Yeah, you know, speaking of the post that you posted, YouTube, thank you guys for watching. We're just over here talking. If you on YouTube and you want to interact and you want to ask questions, um, I'm trying. I'm just trying something different today. I, I rarely go live on YouTube, but if you want to ask questions, you want to get on screen, jump over to my Instagram page, security underscore czar. We'll bring you on. We'll answer any questions that you want. We're talking about. Um, the security business, anything you need to know in the security business, how to grow a security company, how to grow as an individual in a security business, how to grow an executive protection business, brand market yourself, um, all, 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 everything security we talk about. I try to bring on some of the top security professionals in the world. Right now, I'm on Instagram. I'm talking to um, Brian Tucker, the CEO of Sparrow Safety Consultant, and uh, the, he's the lead um, security, for, security director for his, uh, his church. And also, he's a uh, security contractor with me, and he handles a lot of big corporate events and corporate clients. And I'm actually going to try to steal him from his church. He, he, I think he knows that, and we're, <laughs> he's rubbing his hands. Um, but uh, if you guys want to jump on onto on to the Instagram platform, uh, feel free. If not, you can stay here. Um, I, if you... if and if YouTube, you're on YouTube watching, can you give me a thumbs up or just leave a comment if you can hit a crosstalk um, from the uh, from the Instagram platform um, and you can hear what Mr. Tucker is saying. If you just give me a thumbs up or, you know, leave a comment so that I know because um, we're just experimenting with this one. All right. Um, question was asked, when might you be back in Houston, Texas we're doing another class? I missed the last one. We never did one, uh, a class in Houston, Texas. We did a job uh, with YouTube and Google in Houston, Texas. Um, but uh, there is, and I'm glad you said that, there is, um, there in Texas, I think it's, I can't remember, I think it's a class three license or whatever it is. It's the top tier security license. It allows you to do executive protection work in the, in the state of Texas. Now, however, I must say this, they don't teach executive protection curriculum. It's that you get this license and you learn the laws and everything, but it's nothing about executive protection at all. At all. But getting that class license allows you to do executive protection. So we got guys who got that license, and, and this is for professionals who run security companies and otherwise. You got guys that got that license and you're calling them up to do the detail. They might not know what the they're doing um, on your detail, and it'll manifest at the wrong time. So make sure that you uh, vet the people for character, um, integrity, experience, and not just because they have a class three license. I think that's what it is. Um, if, if I'm in Texas, uh, if you're in Texas and I'm wrong, tell me the name of the license um, so that I can be corrected next time. Um, uh, some only, okay. I'm just going through the questions and I'm about to go night night. Big French, if you want to get that, uh, that CCW in DC, Hit my, hit my DM up. Or we, we, I'll, I'll make it happen. Or we'll get you straight by the end of the week. Uh, let's not say the end of the week because I'm, I'm going to be traveling. Let's say the, the uh, mid next week. Um, Do we have any advice on someone who's un unarmed in the security? Uh, unarmed, who is the unarmed security? Uh, yeah, I would just say if you're doing unarmed security, be good at it, you know? Um. As, that's probably what I, I, would, I would say. I don't know exactly what you're doing on armed security. Um, if you're working at a retail place, I would say don't stand at the door. 
right? But you get a lot of people in the retail community, but uh, they'll say the, man the managers, the security say, hey, this is your post right here, right? That's the worst place to be. You have no worst tactical place. advantage. They come in, whoever's going to rob the store, shoot it up. They already see as an underarm security guard. They're playing on his phone, scrolling on Instagram and everything else. He's not paying attention to his surroundings. And by the time you are able to re react, even if you had a gun, it's already too late. So oh, when late. don't let nobody, if you're working on armed security, and so they tell you to stand at the door, please do yourself a favor and don't do that. Even you tell them that's not that's not tactically tactically advantage. Uh, it's not a tactic. Uh, am I saying that right? Tactically yeah, advantage. Yeah. Advantageous. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 advantageous. Yeah. Tactically <laughs> advantageous. Right. You tell them that's not tactically advantageous, or you know, you just go find another job. But that is not ta tactically advantageous because there are some people who um who will who will um they're 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 the people who do do this stuff. They're professionals. Yes. Right. Yes. And, and yes. they gonna see the, the 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 guard at the door, and that's the first person we got to take out. So it's highly likely that if you're working at at a retail place, you, if they decide to rob the store, you could get killed. So try to go somewhere away where you can at least, especially if you're unarmed. If you're armed, that's even better because then you can at least take some cover and react. Um, but if you're unarmed, it, at last but not least, if you gotta run, you can run. You know what I mean. Call it, go in a corner and call the police. Um, but anywhere but the door. So that's my advice for unarmed security. And then, yeah. go ahead, Todd. I, I, uh, whenever I go to a Walmart or a grocery store, food line grocery store, food line or any other store that has security, I'm, 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 looking at, I'm looking at two things. I'm looking at, one, how much that unarmed security guard is paying attention to customers going in and out of the store. Mm -hmm. um, 1A, are they walking in mm -hmm. the house in different departments mm -hmm. and things like that? Mm -hmm. and, um, and two, just, you know, one, make sure their uniform is on point, too. Mm -hmm. You got a sloppy-ass uniform. Mm -hmm. Chances are, I'm not going to take you serious, and mm -hmm. chances are I've already made my mental notes that I'm going to come in the store around Tuesday at 7 o'clock at night because I know old boy is on a cell phone. I know he's not paying attention. I know his uniform is sloppy, things like that. So I know exactly how to go into the store and do whatever I got to do and then roll out. Mm -hmm. Just little things like that from mm -hmm. a security perspective. You got to look the part, right? And when you look the part, chances are it's the likelihood that they may leave you alone. But at the same time, you know, preparedness decreases the panic. So you may not be able to uh prevent every situation from happening but if you look the part if you prepare mentally and physically you know that's a, that's half the battle hey let's talk about this because you talk about look the part uh mentally and physically right so now i while i was asleep and i saw you and let me just say it was a, a excellent review on on a uh the What's the guy, Khalid, 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 whatever? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know his name. I, I don't even listen. I don't watch TV, and I don't listen to, you know, I don't. I don't. I just I don't listen to radio. If I do, it's, I mean, it's what I want to listen to, right? right. It's not yeah, this it's stuff true. that they force you to hear. So um, I don't watch TV, and I don't listen to radio. But Khalid, um, I, his, his, he was running off stage, and his body, his, his security, a bodyguard, whatever, agent, close protection agent was following him. And he fell down, and he got back up, and he fell down again. And uh, so every day there's memes and all kind of stuff all over the place for him. And again, earlier I talked about in in this on this podcast, I talked about um, I talk about big people, right? Because sometimes you get calls, and they're like, "Ah, we need really big guys," you know. <laughs> So we laugh like, well, you big guys for what? Yeah, we want somebody. To... I said, no, you don't need that. You need somebody who's experienced and professional to do the job. Exactly. So that's right. <coughs> and you got to be fit. Now, be. that dude, be. once he fell down, he got up. Uh, now, listen, he might, I don't know. Uh, he yeah. was, was he in, uh, the question was, was he in shape? And the answer is no. Yeah. Right. No. Um, might no, be, no matter how much you, no, no matter how much you try to, you know, uh, try to, you know, play devil's advocate of like, oh well, maybe he worked X amount of days in a row and this that and the other. Like, no, you gotta be on your game every day, all day. When it's time for that detail to start, you have to be on point. And um, and, and just like you said, Mr. Key, but in a shape. Let's just call it what it is, let's, right? Let's um, call it what it is. So you know, you you gotta be ready for a certain movements that you're. 
your client, your principal is going to make. They may want to jog left and right, back and forth, things like that. Or if you're in church security, you're responsible for close protection for your pastor. Mm -hmm. Your pastor may want to work the floor, you know, inside the church, you know, the aisles and things like that, and start preaching and things like that. You got to be got to be ready for those little things. And so for this guy, I feel bad for him because I don't know how many people are in attendance at, at this arena, but mm-hmm. it was in the tens of thousands probably. So right. um, unfortunately, he is infamously uh, in that sensation. Um, and so, uh, you know, feel bad for him. But, you know, I feel like social media is a, it's a classroom. So there's no right or wrong answers when it comes to people posting videos. Everybody wants to formulate their own opinion. Yes. So, um, and you know, there's no right or wrong answer. Um, yes. You know, when I when I posted something on my LinkedIn page about uh, uh, a list celebrity, um, people were saying, "Oh, you're a keyboard warrior." This, that, and the other. I'm like, "Well, you weren't there either. What happened? Just uh-huh. see exactly what uh-huh. happened." So it's all about formulating opinions. It's all about you know a network of people. Um, you know, uh, just talking about how not to be that guy. Thousand people, or whether it's for a small private event for 150. So, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm sorry, Mr. Mike called in. Uh, you know, I totally agree. Um, one, you know, here, like you said, once it's on the internet, it, it's free game, and people get people get really upset, especially people who work in the celebrity in the celebrity security thing. Yeah. They get pissed, like, oh, like who are you to be reviewing people? Listen, it is what it is. I'm just, I'm just gonna be honest. It would it be, and we gotta call it like it is, like. We we're not above the law that or the profession that nobody can critique anything, right? Um, right. Some people hate me for it, but I really don't care because I'm getting my money and I'm. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't either. Um, you know, again, it's it's all about following your opinion. I'm not going and for people who are following me and people who don't follow me in the future. If I post something, I am not going to be volleying back and forth like, "Well, why did you do this? Why did you say? How many years have you been doing this?" Like, it's not about that. It's about what I see in the now. You know, because chances are the, the people who comment those things weren't there either so yeah um so with that being said i mean you know it's just that they put it on the internet it's on it's on social media and the internet forever so um it's always going to be just mm-hmm. got to make sure we're doing the right thing and doing the right things the first time around so yeah. first impressions are lasting first impressions, impressions are lasting thing. Yeah, I get people, they, they money, money more than quarterbacks, some of myself, but they really can't. I had a guy t- on TikTok today saying, oh, yeah, this guy, it was supposed to be an a- agent for rear coverage. There was an agent for rear coverage. He didn't look at the video. You know what I mean? Um, it, it, was, it was an extraction video from one car to the next one. But from the angle of the video, you could see one guy coming into the frame, and then on the other side of the vehicle, you couldn't see that side of the vehicle. But there was people were on both sides of the vehicle doing the coverage so you know even i'm not oblivious to it people it's the internet and if you take it personal about what people say to you you might as well log off and do something else but this is the way of the future um but the truth of the matter is we have to be we have to be healthy um like i said uh you know idris i could bring idris in the room we got 20 20 something people on this idris would beat up everybody in this room and Idris about five seven, about hundred and fifty pounds. He'll beat up everybody. So it, it's not size. It's not size that. Uh, it's not size that matters. It's, it's you know it, it comes with a lot, a lot of other things. But because as an EP agent, you travel a lot. You're in different hotels. Um, you're um, you, you I mean you really you're on the road. You're not sleeping right, man. My back, my back feels terrible. I've slept in all of these different beds in the last week, and I finally get to my bed. It's only two or three days before I'm going again. But um, one of the biggest part is nutrition and health. Well, so if I'm with a client or if I'm on a detail, I'm working some kind of security job. I make sure that I go to a hotel with the gym in it. And I don't, you know, not just the little dumbbells, but if that's all they got, that's what I'm at. But a gym where I can do some bench press, um, a nice treadmill, um, some dips, you know, some cross cables. And um, and then I, I'm cognizant about eating healthy. You can't eat fat, fast food. You can't you can't do that. You're going to need to eat some green food. You're going to need to drink some water. You're going to need to take some vitamins. You're going to need to do things to, you know, sustain you so that you can do this career for a long time. Because just the nature of this career, just the nature of it alone, cuts time off your life. You got you got to know that traveling from coast to coast. I always talk, you know, you people talk about, uh, let's say sports, football or, or or basketball. Let's say basketball, basketball. Uh, this oh that guy's a bum. 
I said, listen, not a guy. He ain't no bum. If he was a bum, first of all, he wouldn't be on the TV. You know, you know what I mean? He's even if he's sitting on a bench, he's not a bum. He's one of the best people in the world at doing what he do what he does. But right. the problem is they can call him a bum. They're not, we're not taking into consideration that last night they were playing in California. Today they in New York. Next right. the next day they in Chicago. So going all across there. Across the country in different time zones so takes a toll on your life, and you have to invest in yourself. And number one thing that keeps the machine going is your health. That's so right. that that yeah. would be my thing. Uh, big big ain't better. Big ain't better. Yes, sir. All right. How do you transport your weapon um, when you're on a job when you're flying? The, uh, Dr. Trader asked that. Oh, uh, there go there go there go Adrees down there. I think I'm driving. Okay, Drees, all right, you driving down Friday. We'll see you. Whatever you need, you just let me know. We, we're going to take care of you. Drees is teaching in the class, too. So um, yeah. we're going to go on Friday. We're going live on, on during our class. So y'all can check that out. Y'all can see it. Drees beat up a bunch of big people. And I love it. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, we're going live. So some of the things that we're doing in class, it'll, you'll be privy to. Um how do you transport your weapon? So if you're transporting your weapon, as uh, long as it's legal, and then they won't even run in it. You just put it in a lock case. Um, you put a lock on it. When you get to the front, to the checking counter, you tell the, the TSA, I mean, the, the checking agent that you like to declare a firearm. They're going to make you unlock the box. They're going to check out the, they'll look at the weapon. They're not, not going to pick it up. They'll look at it. Um, they give you an orange tag. You write your information on it. You put the orange tag in the box, close the box. Lock it back, and then you put it in your check luggage. Do not take that weapon on a plane, or you'll be in, uh, you'll be going to jail, or try to take yes. it on the train. Uh, so that's how you, tra that's how you, uh, you travel with your weapon. Um, and then I got another question on YouTube. So Tucker, in, in the meantime, if you got something, you can go ahead. I'm not in the industry yet, but working to get in and get some training soon. Thank you guys for the free game. Oh, no problem. Um, I think his name was Michael. Let's see. Um, hey, no problem, Michael. Um, I'm glad that you, that you're following. I'm glad that you're on my on my YouTube. And I'm, again, I don't know if you guys can hear the crosstalk from channel to channel because um, we're also on Instagram. But um, yeah, it it you know this this is what I do. I said so when I'm not doing security, I try to help other people grow in the security industry. So any questions that you have, you can also um, you can DM me, you can uh, you can email me. My email is m key at trust trust i n m v p. So m key at trust i n m v p dot com. Um, you can email me. Uh, I will give you guys my phone number, but I promise you, I'm not going to answer it. Uh, there's only a, a handful of people that I answer the phone for. Uh, four of them are my kids. One of them is my father. Uh, a couple of them. Uh, my brothers and um, there ain't too many other people, uh, you know, that that, um, that I answer the phone for. These guys right here on the phone, uh, that's uh, Sparrow, Adris, Latif, Tyler. Anytime, anytime they hit me, I'm gonna answer because I know they're not gonna waste my time, and I know it's something serious that they need me for. So I, I'll answer there. I answer the phone. I do love my mom, y'all, but my mom, I got, I kind of got to <laughs> Uh, get myself up. <laughs> Your mom, mom be talking. I'm like, okay, mom. All right, yeah, mom. All right, gotta go, mom. Mom. All right, go call you back, mom. Yo, your mom say anyway. Oh, one more yeah. thing, one more thing. Let me tell you about your father. Let me tell you about what your father did. <laughs> oh, what he about what my father did. Uh, so, so all that to say, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't really answer the phone uh, for the people who who work with me uh, or take my classes. Also, I give you my number. Um, and you can text me. Uh, sometimes it takes a while for me to get back to text. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm, if I'm not working, um, I'm working on something else. I'm working on a contract. I still have a security company to run, so um, that, that's a major part of everything. So, Tuck, have you have you gone through these? Have we got any questions on on uh, Instagram? Yeah, I've hit a uh, dead end on the questions. I wasn't asking anything. No, I guess they sleepy. I guess they they'll have questions when we log off. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna yeah. stop doing this. I look, I'm a, I'm gonna stop doing this. Because y'all ain't answering, y'all not answering questions, and we're on here, and we're giving y'all free game. That you... Free game. Hold on, all right. I got. And also, Mister Key, tell them about your uh, your mentoring. Uh, uh, you know, um, the mentoring. Uh, you know, 
link that's on your is it on your page is it on your your website or uh the uh the link oh thank you for that yes um <laughs> thank you for that um so I do coaching and mentoring sessions, and I've done quite a few over the last couple of weeks when I started. Since I started this, um, what I've been saying again is an investment into yourself. I think it's like one hundred twenty-five, one hundred thirty-five dollars. But I spend an hour, forty-five minutes to an hour with you, and I you ask me questions about what to do, how to start a business, how to grow it, um, and and I and I give I give you the recipe. It's just pretty pretty much as simple as that. Um, if you have a security challenge that you're dealing with and you don't know what to do, how to handle a contract issue. Um, how to write a contract, how to create a website, how, what insurance you, you might need, what licenses you may need, how to find clients, how to advertise, how to market yourself. Um, I do all of that. You know, if you're going to start a corporation, should I have an LLC? Should I have an S corporation? Should I have a C corp? Um, that's what I do, man. And there's people out here winning. And, um, you know, so if you are interested in getting that information, Man, don't hesitate. Pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. Get to my link tree and my bio on my Instagram page and uh, click on click on there. It's a calendar link. I believe it's calendar. Uh, it says book mentoring and coaching sessions. Jump on there and sign up. And um, I guarantee you, you will not regret it. It's, it, you know, actually, I should be charging thousands of dollars for this, but I'm charging pennies. So jump on there and do that. And thanks for that again, Tucker. <laughs> Yes, sir. Um, again, and so let me just one more thing because it's almost 11 and I, I don't know, by talking, y'all made me feel better, so thank you guys. Um, um, Thursday, Charlotte, North Carolina, if you're in a Charlotte, North Carolina, or I don't care where you are, you could be in California. If you can get to Charlotte, North Carolina Thursday morning at 6 a.m., I highly recommend you do it. If you go to my website right now, you're going to see an insane discount on this class. I only got two positions, and I wanted to. I wanted to give the class. Uh, I wanted to give the class away for free. Um, unfortunately, I can't do that because I didn't have time to review the videos that everybody would submit. Um, so uh, the best way for me to to, to kind of give back to the community is giving these uh, d discounted classes and discounted opportunities. So go to my website www.trustin mvp.com and go to the training page and a uh, uh, pop-up should pop up and it's going to show you the discount again this is thousands of dollars off of the class if you can click that link and get to charlotte north carolina i guarantee you won't regret uh guarantee you won't regret it i guarantee you won't regret it um one second all right. Um, originally from Detroit. Hey, 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 Dries, if you see originally from Detroit, kidnap his ass and bring him to Charlotte or Miami because he's supposed to have been in the class, right? At this point, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't accepting no excuses from you uh, originally from Detroit. We ain't accepting no excuses. You missing out on a bunch of work. You, you could have been, been rolling with us. Please get into the class. Please. <laughs> All right. Um, let's bring in. Okay, my man jumped off V Executive Security. See, if we could bring on somebody. We're gonna bring somebody on, and then we're gonna jump off. Ty, Ty, Ty should be on the road, right? Ty, Ty's, Ty's driving down. Um, Matt is driving down. Carlos, okay. All right. All right, I'm gonna, we're, look like people. I ain't gonna worry about it. Um, any closing? Any any final questions? We are gonna close out. YouTube, any final questions? Sparrow, you scroll, you scroll through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, sc I scroll through everything. Um, yeah, there's no no new questions, no new comments. Okay. I don't see anything. Oh, they go top. Okay. I, I will say this in uh, in closing. Um, for those who are listening, maybe driving right now, headed to Charlotte or coming to Charlotte, um, it's gonna be a fun time. All right, uh, you're gonna learn a lot. Uh, you're gonna learn a lot of new things, things that you 
thought you knew, but you didn't. And um, it's going to be a, a wealth of investment uh, for you when you get there bright and early, 0600 Thursday morning. So, um, you know, just, uh, you know, just, just get ready to strap in. It's going to be a fun time. And for those who are interested in, in you know, coming to one of Mr. T's future classes, Go ahead and do it. You got time. Um, you know, follow him on social media. Uh, you know, and just hit that bell for him, right? I'll promote him. It's okay. Hit that bell so you get all the notifications when he's going live and all this other stuff. So, um, you know, and I wouldn't be doing the things that I do for Mr. Key if I didn't believe in him, if I didn't trust in him. And so, uh, and that's that's why I do, like, when I'm doing my videos, my reels, I'll, I'll tag him on it and be people check the services. Because I believe in him. I believe in what he's trying to do for, uh, not trying to do what he is doing for the industry. And again, I talked about, you know, developing that roadmap for the future, uh, you know, of executive protection and close protection or whatever you want to do within this industry. So um, tap in, get connected, uh, get yourself into a training class. It took me about a year and a half to be like, okay, let me go ahead and look around. Let me see who's, you know, whose class is about what. So um, again, how I connected to Mr. Key was first on LinkedIn, and then I eventually connected with them uh, last year, uh, right around about spring of last year on um, on Instagram. So, um, so yeah, get out there and uh, get out of your own way and invest in yourself for sure. Sparrow, we do have a couple of questions. I'm gonna jump on the YouTube real quick. Somebody asked okay. real um, from YouTube, uh, are there any? Let's see, what was the question? You. Um, do we have any students on the West Coast that's teaching a class? No, uh, we don't. We have graduates from our classes that live on the West Coast, but none of them uh, are teaching classes. And what happens is, um, just like I select people to work with me on security details after they graduate, I also determine which people I'm going to elevate to become instructors. Um, so, for example, on YouTube, you guys, are, you, you can't see what's going on, on Instagram, but I have... Ryan Tucker from Sparrow Safety Consultant. He came through. <coughs> our, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> our class last year in Atlanta. Um, he he currently works with me on security contracts, and the um, <coughs> it, it will be a lot more. But also, he's now becoming an instructor, an executive protection instructor. So I'm having him to come out to teach um for our class in Charlotte. And then also you start seeing him at more classes. But also he, um, him and Latif Watson from Kings Security, he's um, King. What is Kings Executive Executive Security? I think that's Executive Protection. Executive yeah. Protection. Yeah. Um, both of them guys took our driving classes, and they, and I got to be honest, the evasive driving course they killed it. And um, so I'm going to have them to come back to be driving instructors too. So I'm going to teach the teachers, and I wish. Uh, next time we'll bring David Dalton in. Uh, David Dalton is a is a race car driver. He's he's race. He's not only is a race car driver. He's the first uh, black instructor for BMW Performance School, and he's wow, the really? youngest instructor ever for the D BMW driving performance schools. And he's wow. driving Formula race cars, uh, but he's raced across across several platforms. Um, and he's going to be uh, our guest uh, special instructor for the Miami. Uh, Miami, he basically, yes. So, okay. guys, listen, like, um, we're, like I said, when I go out and I bring people to the table to teach and educate, uh, and, and uh, I'm bringing the best people that I know, you know. And David, I think it's David's 26 or 27, and he's a, a couple of things. He's a hell of a driver, but he's also a hell of a drummer, and he's a hell of a bass guitar player. So, if you go over to his page, <laughs> David Dalton Jr., Jr., David Dalton, D A L T O N Jr. Follow his page. The dude, the, the kid is amazing. And I'm 52 years old, so I'm twice his age. But he's taught me so many things in such a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> um, so now with that question answered, I'm going to bounce back to Instagram for a second. Uh, there was a question, EP Orlando, Florida. We, we do apologize. We do see your question. He said he asked a question. He laughed, had his hand up. What is the reasonable rate that you would charge a client for armed driver? Um, when I first got into this business, I always asked uh, people what was the going rate. So everybody had a going rate, but like the going rates could be different. If um, so my if I told you to charge them a hundred dollars an hour, well, well, let me just go back to um, security guard work. So when I when I started security guard uh, work, I, I would ask 
other people who own security companies. Okay, what's what's the going rate? And they would say, oh, eighteen dollars an hour, right? So what I found out that three years after I, I went and put this price down on a contract, went and got that contract, worked it for three years, I had so many fucking headaches. Excuse my language. <coughs> Mm. Because uh, I could only give the client what they paid for. They didn't want to pay more money. So for the $18, my $18 was different from some of the other guys because they were running their security company out of their basement. You know, they had a little office in the side of the house. That's where they were running their security company. They didn't have, you know, a secretary. They didn't have an assistant. But I had all that. I had an office, a security app, all this stuff. So their $18, even though $18 is the same, it's different. Their 18, my $18 was different than their $18. So I say all that to say, um, uh, EPC, uh, uh, Orlando, your rate is going to depend on a couple of things. Number one, there is a standard rate that I would say that if you're going to be, uh, if you got an SUV, um, depending on the quality of that SUV, if you got a Cadillac Escalade um, or a top-rated Denali, um, Lucky Pack package, one of those things, Suburban, then your rate should be between 100 and 125 dollars an hour. Um, now, if you're at, if they're adding on to that rate as well, you know I would tack on another 50 dollars to that, so about 175 dollars an hour for for that. Now, again, uh, you as a business professional are going to have to go through you're going to have to go through your expenses. What 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 does it cost? How many hours are you going to work? Do you have a minimum of four hours? Is a minimum of six hours? A minimum of eight hours? Um, what are your responsibility as an agent? What's that's going to be? Um, and all of that goes into it. Are they going to pay your tolls? Are they going to pay your ta uh, you know, your your, um, your gas? So all of those things come into factor. Um, and and my when I'm when I'm selling you 175 dollars an hour, it doesn't include none of that. It just call it includes the vehicle and the driver. All right. Um, I hope that answers your question. And big friend said it depends on your experience, and that's true. And grip the wave. The the driving the evasive driving class is November sixth through the uh, eighth. Three days. Yeah, Miami, Florida. Um, I, I ain't really much I could tell you about it. You can just maybe ask Tucker about it. Go to the website, see some, uh, see some of the videos that, you know that we post on Instagram and stuff like that. Um, but maybe Tucker, you you can you you took the class. You could tell him a little bit about it. Yeah. Um. I mean, I opened an experience. It's the first time I ever did it. Um, and so it really, once, once you get through the classroom part of it, um, you know, you apply what you learn in the classroom out on the field, in the field, so to speak, or on the track, if you will. And um, just get out there and just absorb what you learn in class and then apply it to behind the wheel. And um, trust me, you will be enlightened and surprised and uh, maybe even impress yourself uh, when it comes to driving and not only driving or you know driving a client or a principal round but just everyday driving on a 95 85 whatever you gotta you know uh, lose some kind of accident or something like that i've had to do a few uh basic maneuvers you know just driving with my family in the vehicle at, the, at one point in time but um just uh again just the same thing you would do in the executive protection class um just take a lot of notes uh listen uh, be a good active listener because uh, you may think you know what you're doing. You may have had your driver's license for X amount of years, but when it comes to get behind the vehicle, the wheel of that vehicle, um, in an invasive mindset, um, you know, it's going to be an eye-opening experience, and uh, it'll help you uh, going forward uh, with something like that when someone calls upon you to provide, you know, provide that service to somebody. Uh, yeah, I would agree with that, too. One of the things is, is always two things when I'm training people. I love this. Like, can you shoot? And they say, yeah. And then I ask them, can they drive? And they say, yeah. Until I started digging into them and really, they realized they couldn't drive or shoot. So, um, <laughs> so just, yeah, get, get, getting in the classes that you took at the, uh, at the, what well, the driver's school when you was getting your license is totally different. Some of the things that I, that, uh, so one of the things that we do in our class is an evasive driver class, but it's also, we had an executive chauffeur because there's a component that a lot of classes aren't teaching. So we try to teach that, um, how to, you know, deal with the clients and et cetera. The other part is we do an assessment of the students before they go out on the road, because if I'm teaching you, I want to know what your problems is so that we can correct them all already. Um, so like, again, like I said, most people that say they can, can, can drive, they can't drive. And we really, really push you 
we really, really push you on that track so that you, so we can get yeah. the best out of that car, but more importantly, get the best out of you. Um, I I gotta go. Let's see. Um, maybe you can answer my question next time. I'm sorry, I I didn't. I may not miss your question. Um, whoever that is, Nathan, what was the question? I don't see it, uh, brother. If you can, if you can, uh, ask it, ask it again, I, I will. Um, and there were a few more questions. Listen, see, guys, let me let me just say this. Let me just say this. I, we're going to answer your questions. The problem is trying to 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 run this platform and answer questions scrolling through there. That's, that's a lot of stuff get missed. If you want to, if you want to, if you want to get your question answered, just hit the thing. We'll we'll let you come on screen and talk. This is not a one way street; it's two way. So, please, if you got a question and you don't want it to be missed, you wanted to answer it. Some of the same, some of the other people in the room uh, on this chat uh, have some of the same questions. Just jump on here. We're we're that's what we're all about: helping people, and we want to get your questions answered. And grip the way. What did I do? Did I talk to you crazy? I'm, I'm sorry, Joe Yearby. Uh, did I talk to you crazy? He said, I love you too, bro. I just couldn't let Mr. Keys talk to me like that. What'd I say? What'd I say, Joe? Uh, you know, you you know I love you. It, it ain't it ain't never no love loss. If I say something crazy, I apologize. Um All right, I'm gonna go through these last bit of questions. Now I'm gonna jump off. Um Yeah, hey, French, man, listen, this is long overdue, man. Pull up on me, man. Pull up on me. At least I know it's all going to be love. We ain't got to be ducking behind cars when you show up. All right. Um, I don't think we have any more questions. Yeah, I don't say anything new. No, no new questions. Yeah, me either. All right, guys. Well, um, I appreciate everybody for watching. <coughs> I'm going to try to get some rest. And um, yes, we'll be back on in. If, uh, we'll be back on uh, probably Thursday for a little bit live, probably around one one p.m. It'll be early live for me. Um, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, y'all. I'm gonna try to go live on YouTube on um, Thursday noon between noon 1 p.m what I, we're gonna have a special guest in the class and it's gonna be steve hudson um tech tech x he's gonna be talking about tscm technical security countermeasures and so we're gonna go live so y'all can hear a little bit about um who he is and what he does this guy's amazing when you man when you hear his background it's gonna be mind-blowing and uh for your those guys who are actually attending the class you'll be very happy about that um so that'll be live and i'm gonna try to do this more or two um how much is the driving class? The driving class is twenty eight hundred, but um, for you it's different because you joined six, and we we didn't talk about uh, six either. Um, six is the Society for International Executive Protection. It's an organization I created uh, right before the pandemic um, to help individuals grow in the security and executive protection industry. Really, um, one is to provide resources such as seminars and webinars and podcasts like we're doing now. Provide, provide information. Uh, there's another level of information that we give on those platforms that we don't give here. Um, the, also, to be able to point you in the right directions and resources um, in the field, if you're working in Egypt or if you're working in London or if you're working in Washington, D.C., and you need to connect with other professionals to pull off a security detail or provide some additional uh, support to you, um, the, uh, we, we connect people like that. And the uh, last part is to try to plug people with job opportunities. So that is what six is. Um, and if you're interested, it, it, it's uh, very simple. Just go to the website, www.weare6.com. We are six.com. All right. Um, uh, no, I'm sorry, correcting dot org, dot org is the organization www.weare6.org. All right. So, gang, YouTube, it's been real. Joe, uh, I think I did see another question pull up. Oh, oh, wait a minute. 
I will tell you. Oh, Metro Mail. That, that class, the link is up. Go book now. Go book now because you've been asking about that evasive driving class for some time now. It's We ready to rock and roll. My YouTube channel is uh, the way I see it with security czar. Get back, Slim. I'll, I'll, po I'll post it on... Uh, I'll post it on here as well. Uh, the way I see it with the securities are. Um, all right, y'all. I don't see no more questions, so I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to rest up for the rest of the night. Um, uh, tomorrow, I will be in Charlotte. Sparrow, when, what, what day are you coming down? Um, I should be there uh, probably tomorrow evening-ish, somewhere between about 6 and 9, 6 and 10, something like that, tomorrow night. Call you, call, I'll call, um, call you in the morning if, if you want. We can, we can roll together. Okay. All right. That sounds good. That work. You going at 85 or 95? Uh, 85. Uh, 85. Yeah, we'll figure it out, even if we link up somewhere. Okay. All right. That sounds good. All right. Everybody, thanks for watching. Again, make sure that you follow uh, Sparrow Safety Consultant. Um, on on Instagram, YouTube. Thank you so much. Um, this is new for me on YouTube, so thank you for all of the people who have followed. Um, thank you for following and liking and sharing my comments. Uh, my YouTube channel is crazy. I got like over six million views on a couple of videos. Yeah. So wow. YouTube is on fire. Thank you for everybody who's followed for YouTube. Um, again, if you want to get into that uh, executive protection class, it's only two days. Make sure you get over uh, to my website. Put that discount code in. Now, I'm going to tell you, the price is just crazy. Um, and There's only two spots for the people who get it. Um, I'm, I'm going to be uh, very happy to meet you. But take advantage of the opportunity. They don't come um, few far in between. Um, that's it. You, you, get, you gave your closing arguments, right? I mean, your closing statements, right? Yeah, I'm good. Looking forward to meeting the folks who are going to be in the class on Thursday. And for those who are interested, just follow Mr. Keith. Um, and his website uh, that he mentioned, and um, tap in, invest in yourselves. That's all I gotta say. Yep. Uh, one more shout out. I want to say Simply Kimmy. Uh, Simi, she was one of my supervisors for my event, uh, event security team. Simply Kimmy66. I love you, Kim. Thank you for always having my back and supporting me. Also, I want you guys, if you're on this live, to follow the following um, links Combat Zone Fitness Training. That's Idris Ruley. He's up in Philadelphia. He has his uh, own security company, Global Protection. He also has a dojo up there. Make sure that you follow him. And he has, this. I, I swear, I know uh, the man is Jamaican. He also has a car auto body shop where he's fixing my Cadillac because somebody hit my Cadillac and in the front the other day. And I was in, I was going to New York and I had to, I had to stop in Philly and say, can you can you kind of do put some band aids on here so I can get through this job? So he has a uh, he has a body shop also in Philly. Um, also follow Get Back Slim. Uh, let's see who else on here. Get Back Slim. Uh, all right, I think that's all who's on on here right now that I can. Oh, Big French sixty four is a good is uh and Grip the Wave, Grip the Wave. Yeah, uh, make sure you follow those guys. And um, again, it's been real. Love you guys. Look forward to seeing you. See you in a couple of days. Peace. I'm out. Peace. All right. <laughs> Take care, YouTube. Thanks you for following. Uh, make sure you come back often. Uh, we're gonna have put content like uh, lives at least once a week. Um, if you have any questions. I'm trying to figure out YouTube. This is my very first time doing YouTube, so I'm trying to figure out how the platform works and how to make all of this work all together. But it's been real. I appreciate you guys following. I appreciate your support. Um, and I look forward to uh, meeting some of you, uh, some of you in the near future. All right. Peace. I'm out. <laughs>